Yeah. I turned both these toward me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, it, it looks like you're doing a press conference. Hi, yeah. Welcome to another episode of Word Up. I was extremely enthusiastic there because I'm trying to get 2024 off to a good start. I hope you really enjoy this episode. I've got Luke McGibbon on with me, who is fucking fantastic. He's one of my besties, and you know you're in for a good episode. I just want to encourage you all, if you can. If you're watching this now, even if you're not going to watch the whole podcast, if you feel like it, I know we're all skint, but here, get over to the Patreon, if you can, and give us a pound. <laughs> like, just, just a pound, just a pound, like, or whatever you can afford, if you're a wee bit, you know, more on the top rate scale of things. Um, yeah, 150. Um, it just, it would help actually cover this, cover the cost for one pound a month. You could sponsor a working class asshole. Um, I just want to give you a few wee things as well um, about Luke McGibbon's upcoming gigs. If you want to go and see him, which I highly recommend. I was with a gig, um, with him at a gig there on New Year's Eve and he was fucking hilarious. Um, he is going to be in Kiwis in Portrush on the 26th of this month. That's January. Uh, Bally Hackamore, the hearth on the 27th. There's two gigs in a row there. He may get the petrol miles in. And he's going to be in the Portside Inn on the 1st of February. So try and get yourselves out to support a wee bit of local comedy. Buy a pint. Don't tackle. Maybe do. Don't. Don't. No. Yeah, uh, he can. He can. He can handle it. He's still sitting there. Yes, I'm trying to be all mysterious as though um, <laughs> this episode is a blinder. It's actually really hilarious. And we have probably one of the best. Um, uh, what do you call it? Patreons. One of the best Patreon episodes that we've ever had to date because okay. it was a it was a proper Sorry. gig. To, to, to quote my granny, Sadie, I roared and I tittered and I laughed. Sure, tell you it was a gag. So, yes, thank you very much. And hello. <laughs> thank you very much, Cynthia Lou. I know. I don't, just, just cut that after. Thank you very much. Please don't put him where I looked perfectly down the camera and said hello. Hey. hey! I love this shit. I'm going to get one of these from my house as well and do it every time I flush the toilet or something. <laughs> like, mean, that's a wrap! Sir gets into bed for the night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want things to open, not close. That's true, that's every true. Every time you make her a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> very good! I love it. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to come across that. as really... Do you know what? Start with a pun. Why not? Why yeah. not start with Hello, a pun? Hello, welcome to another episode of Word Off. And here this week, I had to get you on because I really, I love you. Kurt was asking me this morning about you know. and I was like it's a new year it's a new me I need well it's the same me but yeah, I need to get need my old, old friend yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luke McGibbon on yeah, yeah, but yeah, hi have you here we were talking about we've just actually sometimes I think that we should just keep the camera rolling from the second the guest walks in no. because we have the maddest conversations I think you could get some real candid shit do you know what I mean as yeah. well I'd love to hear what what some of you you, you people I was about to say what's, I'd love to hear what some you of you people, people saying uh, you know, people. Yeah. hold on a minute Catholics I know I, this, that's even the weird bit is I am you people aren't I I'm you Catholic, are I'm us like, people yeah. but you're kind yeah. of bougier uh, yeah well I've got the bougie voice then you, you grew up in Dundonald oh, by the way I, yeah. I absolutely loved your set in the black box on New Year's Eve oh thanks very much it thanks was very fucking much. brilliant yeah. I was, do you know what it was really hard because I was following Teresa Livingston and if you, if you haven't heard of her she's fucking brilliant Teresa's but, like, a gig Teresa's an absolute gig but uh, yeah I was following her and she had absolutely smashed it and she was on first mm -hmm. and sometimes you know when someone's absolutely killing it before you you sort of go and sometimes it makes you relax because you're like oh they'll just that, that energy will carry to me mm -hmm. but then sometimes when someone's doing really good you're like they're going to be disappointed I'm not her. Do you, know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've never had that, but no. <laughs> I'm sure my predecessors have. <laughs> I'm only joking. Yeah. It was like, Absolutely. No, um, no it's a, it was a great wee crowd. It was all for the West Belfast Food Bank. The Southwest Belfast? Southwest Belfast so Food what, Bank. So I like they're like half posh, half not. Is that yes, it's, it's like, like we cater for everybody. It's like uh, the working poor and just the goddamn poor. It's like Harvey dent isn't it it's like they've got you know the one half is like oh, bougie yeah. and then the one half and then they flip a coin but then since they're rich they also flip a note that's probably. it like <laughs> some people go there and get their food parcels in asda bags and some people don't get them in marks and spencer's bags <laughs> oh, that is the difference God, yeah yeah do you know what like m&s is proper that's christmas to me now that's that's yes. 
Is that that's that's whenever you get bougie? I think, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Talk a lot about bougie. Whenever you get that voucher, Aye. you get that gift voucher for M and S. I was talking to you about this actually. Yeah, you were, you were. The only time I ever went to Marks and Spencers, and they must know me from a mile off, like my my type. My people. Your people. Because they're like, the fucking voucher cunts are in. <laughs> and they'll look around and they're like, everyone else is walking about wearing their, you know, their barbers and they have their nice little, you know, Wellington boots on and I'm in their Manic Max. And <laughs> he, my, my, run, my kid's Adidas coat with a voucher, <laughs> like going, how much is that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, that's, that's how b- bad my vision for class is, is if I saw someone in Nike Air Max, I'd be like, well, they're doing all right for themselves. That's the way Air we Max. thought in Lenadoon, but it's actually it's not, because you know what we got? <laughs> What'd you get? We used to get, your Nike Air Max are fake. <laughs> <laughs> your gutties are scrappers. They're Ricky Lakers. They're <laughs> fucking fakers. <laughs> no namers, Ricky no namers. Lakers. What happened to your man who the got are scrappers guy as well? Is he still out there? Just God, he's scrappers. Do you remember him? He's out there I, I think he's in witness protection. <laughs> 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 he's had reconstructive surgery and everything. Doesn't he's just been support. given good goodies so nobody <laughs> can recognize him. <laughs> yeah. Harry Moore is caught stepping. <laughs> <laughs> him, do you know, whenever I do that and people don't know that I'm doing it, uh-huh. you know that the way, for anybody who hasn't a clue what we're talking about, Obviously, there are some famous people around here who have just become famous because of the little, the fact that they've been unfortunately caught being on melters. camera. Yeah, being and made into a viral clip. And made oh, yeah. So yeah. he's like arguing with these bouncers outside a door of a club and he goes, he decides all of a sudden that the reason that they're not letting him in is because he spots that one of them supports, or that they've spotted that he supports a football team. They don't is that care. really? I didn't well, they know go, ah, you're be, you're be jumper there. You're and he goes, Chelsea now talk. we're getting to the reason. <laughs> now we're getting to the reason. <laughs> and sometimes whenever somebody goes, oh, you know, we're getting to the reason, I'll go, now we're getting to the reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even if it's in my child's school. Every you know, argument. You can't help yourself. Every argument. I... And I made a wee Christmas one of those and I put a wee decorative hat on him, like a Santa hat. Like as a meme. Now we're getting to the season. <laughs> love it. Oh, that's good. I love it. I love it. Every, there was loads of people on my Facebook that shouldn't have been there that were just like, I don't understand, Bruno. What's going on? Are you okay? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought everyone had seen it. I thought it was like ubiquitous at this point. Yeah, you know it's I mean? their local icons at that point. Yeah, they like, are. The, we're gonna have them turn on the Christmas lights. I, I yeah. was, I was saying to when Rory McSorley was up in my blood. I, yeah, I was yeah. like, they should all have a support group. Him. Yeah. Goddies are scrappers, <laughs> like uh, fucking wait, um, no L. surrender. The, oh woman. God, the no surrender lady. Um, yeah, fucking your man. Uh, would you fuck up? Oh, yeah. Would you fuck up? He's Being alive like, is a God. fucking the nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> I I love the graveyard trip. gang. The graveyard. Oh the graveyard yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, love your wee McDonald's. Oh, how, do I, how do I have I am Mal should be the fucking chairperson is that your uh, Mal should McGinley? be the ch- Mal McGinley would make an excellent chairperson but you know Mail who Vogue, we're forgetting for those you owe me a tenner Dick him yeah. um, um, <laughs> Jordy or something I see if somebody from England's listening to this they're probably like what the fuck are they talking about why do I have so many do you they're know what I actually love though you rate. see that man that they walked up to that just happened to say being alive is a fucking nightmare the wee Elvis that haircut he's got there England what? No, it isn't. Like, yeah, it is. No that's way. Not, that, that's in fucking Castle Street. Well, it does look like Castle it's Street Castle to me. It's 100% Castle well, Street. Well, whoever's like asking near... him has an English accent. Yeah. No, they don't have a free state accent. It looks like it's near sure? Deer's Head. You might be thinking of your man who got I'm thinking uh, of the other by one. the seagull. He was like, he's got the Belfast accent and he's holding the seagull and he's going, my wee fucking gull. And then it bites his face. And like, <laughs> and like all he does is, it like, a seagull's literally got his cheek in, his mu- in its mouth and all he does is he just goes, Ow! Like, <laughs> as if he's like outraged. He's like, I can't believe you turned on me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we're trying to say, basically? Um, maybe Something there's another the one that I've seen. I've seen someone walking up to somebody in London town centre and they just happened to be from here and they were like, this is fucking insane or something. And yeah. I was like, trust the Belfast person to come out with absolute nonsense. But I think what we're trying to say is there's a lot of mental illness over here <laughs> <laughs> and and also a lot of people on top rate that can afford the best camera phones. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, it's, it's not even the main catchphrase, you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. what... The, another sign of an evidence of mental illness is when people can quote like the off-handed or like sub yes. catchphrases off yes. the back of it. It's like yes. almost like a sub meme. It's like yeah. c- <laughs> counterculture that we're all just around here. Going it's like, it's ex- see if somebody mentions like 
um, say, says to me, your bro. Aye. I go, ooh, big bro, from that Gunnies or Scrappers <laughs> <Yeah>. video. <laughs> which is so nice. Because that's one way slagging. Yeah. Is, in the so multitude nice. of slaggings. Yes. yes. Oh, uh, do, do you know I love is the one where he says about the shoes to him and he goes, <laughs> they're bought by my ma and she's dead. So I'd you fuck, fuck up. up. And, then, <laughs> so mad. and then he goes away and he goes, get new goodies. And he says, what do you say? He yeah. says, yeah. All right, say your guys are scrap. scrap I, or tell your man to get you new <laughs> shoes. <laughs> but you see, whenever, actually, do you know what? In order to preface all of this, can we put a clip of that in? Now nah, we're getting to the reason. Now nah, we're getting to the reason. No, you get through it. But so um, the, maybe I, I was talking to the manager of Filthies recently, right? As we were filming something in it, and obviously the question was asked about goodies or scrappers because that's where it happened. And he says, "Do you know somebody asks me about that every week?" And um, he says, "Do you know is Ma called up no like way. the following day? <gasps> it's not even. She's not even dead. It's no, no way. Ma called up the following day to say sorry. Fuck yeah, me. the apologies for him. Fuck I knew me. from an inside source that his ma wasn't dead. <laughs> inside I, source. I know. I know someone who knows him. Here, tight, and I tight. was like, "Is she dead?" And the girl said to me, "No, his mummy's very fun? much alive, but God love him, he's not like he has." I can't say anything oh, as somebody bad. who has Going suffered off. from alcohol addiction. I can say fuck all. All I am glad of is the fact that I got sober before the turn of the doorbell camera mm, oh god I yeah can you yeah. imagine me showing up at your house going here with your ring as a tag night <laughs> you see the many people on those neighbourhood watches that are like be careful or someone's trying to get into people's houses and I'm like that's just a drunk person that's got home to the wrong house <laughs> yeah I, yeah I, I'm surprised my ma hasn't bought a ring doorbell yet because see the many times that my dad comes home drunk and he's going I'm not drunk and then <laughs> and she goes no what I'm going to do see next time you come in I'm going to film you and I'm going to show you it the next day. Yeah. Oh, so, I would love so that. So why has she not got a ring for Can we well, please? Will you Thank get you. her? You should I'm have got I should have got why her Why didn't they get I instead of you get her? I got her a off. fucking hot tub. Did you get her a, hot, get a hot, hot tub? tub? Well, it was for Ooh. both of them. Hot I mean, tub. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. You can't get a single hot tub. That's Sean's, just a barrel, isn't it? That's a hot barrel. Sean's at baby this coming is actually going yeah, to yeah, have yeah, an aunt or uncle that's the same age. No way. No I use Ma's going to end up pregnant in that hot tub. Oh, yeah. I just didn't do the family maths in my head there. Is the math ain't mathing. Um, <laughs> that's how you know you're, you're West Belfast as fuck as well. I should have done, I had a wee page called Things That Are Smicked Out. And, oh, yeah. um, was that you? Yeah, it was me. Oh, fuck. Years right. ago. And it had like 70,000 followers yeah, it was really on popular, it. Yeah, yeah. It was just like me and a few mates on a road. Aye. Like, this is what's smicked out. This is what's smicked out. And um, I love that. They, I'd see that, that photo that's, on the page was actually like my kitchen table the night after a party. <laughs> it was like a, a naked Max shoe and open ten of harp. Let's take a photograph. It was is it years still up ago. there? I think it is still up there. But we were, somebody had said, yeah, things that are smicked out. And it was like doing your theory test seven times, passing your, your driving test the first time around. Aye, aye. And then <laughs> one yeah. thing I think is smicked out is like having an aunt or uncle that's younger than you. <laughs> but that is the case in my family as well. Are you serious? Have you got an, uh, Yeah, my sister, my my brothers, Caleb and Oshin, are actually um, younger or older than their uncle. Right, no. wow. No, I'm telling lies. They're, they are their uncle. They're the uncles to my nephew. That and they're younger be, than him. That must feel dead weird for you. Well, is that them calling now, was it? No, I don't know who it was. It was a missed call from someone. Um, Mystery number. Do you ever answer them? Uh, I love It depends I love if I'm feeling them. a bit manic. Yeah, yeah. Well. You're like fucking caution to the wind. Who, yeah. who is it? It's like one of the... You it's know a debt collection it's, agency. It's one like, of those oh, days it. you want to invite the Mormons in. <laughs> you know, you're like Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, they shit their pants. They shit their pants. Do you know, they must be absolutely fucking terrified when they do get invited in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they must know... That if they're it getting invited into somebody's house, that person's not, not well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's what they're looking, though. That's like, what they're looking. Yeah, they're, they're looking like, unwell. Are you maybe? mentally ill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? My friend invited them in before, Chris Chris Kelly, and he just decided to have like a great conversation with him. Uh, yeah. But I think he was like really stoned at the time and just thought, this is great crack. But I think they might have ran away screaming. Do you remember, just on the note of old things that you used to run, like... Do you remember a thing called Positive Spy at all, like a million years ago? Positive Spy. Positive Spy. It was relatively popular for a wee bit on, on Vine. That's how old it was. Oh. It was, um, these guys were in a car and they would roll down the window and they'd drive past people and they would shout at them the way a spy would. 
but it would be like oh, positive spying. Spied, yeah, oh, yeah. I like, said spying. Oh no, no, positive spied. I thought no, it was yeah. gonna be like, yes, you're you're you know spying on you, but you're being helpful. Like yeah. <laughs> your carpet could do with replacing. Uh, you, you find know? the sock. They find yeah. the missing sock. Yeah. But uh, no, uh, you would show you nice things to people, uh, but in a way, so you'd be like. Here, lads, lads, here, if you want a rainbow, you're going to have to put up with the rain. The rain. <laughs> and he was driving away. Uh, that was, that was well, a friend do you of mine think that and if, me. If sometimes. somebody who is a smide slash smick. Smick slash spied. slash spied, um, a.k.a. like working class yeah. version, um, shouting anything at you is absolutely terrifying. Oh, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. You could be shouting yeah. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech <laughs> and it could sound like, you know, a call to arms. Like, I'd love to hear that though. We don't. I'd love to hear that I have a fucking dream! <laughs> that leg! <laughs> there has to be like lots of leaks. Yeah. Legs thrown in there. Oh God, I. It's like the way we say, like we anything we say at all aye. can sound like an insult. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, the people in other countries do say we sound threatening, don't we? Though I don't know. Anyone I've met says my accent doesn't sound that threatening, but that's probably the bouge, isn't it? No. That's probably because uh, I sound more like I'd give, give, give them the weather. You know what I mean? But I think if you were <laughs> to no, Yeah, I think that's where it is. That's but where it is. I think to an outsider, <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you it's just didn't smile when you were saying it is, something. Yeah, if I was holding a knife, uh, like, it's no, it's see, pretty when, I, when I was in school, you know, I was like the biggest hippie going, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. And was categorized as such. Yes. But when I then went to meet my like minded hippies in town, <laughs> I very quickly realized that they were all from South Belfast. And, you were a and, smick. Then, and then I was a smick. <gasps> no way. They you were a smippy. <laughs> <laughs> I got called a hippie, and basically, a hippie yeah, was too. just. Long hair. It doesn't mean that you're like it just means band the bomb man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just means but you're great. Have long hair. Like yeah, my that's mom, what it is. That's what it is. I would categorize as hippie because she's quite hippy dippy. Like mm. loves her Dylan and her Leonard yeah. and and I kind of would that's proper I, in that sense. I would be a hippie, but I I was called a hippie for just not only liking rave music. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like but if you listen to like if you liked a bit of Metallica or yeah. even what did you Full call them? Nickelback. Nickelback, yeah. really? Never made it as <laughs> wise man. Fuck on happy music. Fuck <laughs> on happy music. I was, even back then, I thought Nickelback was very dad music. Do you know what I mean? I used, oh. to, I used to get my dad Nickelback albums for Christmas. Not, I mean, I don't know if he fucking liked them. But. Do you know, <laughs> I just think about that song because the first time I ever went to like um, God's Kitchen. Do you remember God's Kitchen? It was God's a rave. Kitchen. It used to be on. It would be down in like the. King, it would be kind of like um. In the King's Hall, was it? Yeah, King's Hall. Big I, I think I, remember, I mean, I never went, obviously, because look at me. But like, <laughs> but I, I think I knew of it. I think I knew of it. So I tried to. I tried to go out drinking the, at seventeen, and they were still idea oh me. You know, no, it yeah, wouldn't have. Oh, wouldn't have. Because I uh, lame. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I was saying lame. <laughs> Did you look lame? <laughs> look, look, McGowan. I went to God's Kitchen, and it was the, uh, the year of the fluffy boot. <laughs> like, so everybody would get these the like Chinese luminous, calendar. like fluffy knee boots, and like you'd just be sort of dancing all night long, mm. glow sticks and yeah, yeah, drinks and good. stuff. And I was so hungover from God's Kitchen and so raved out. Like I think there was an echo in my skull from the dance music <laughs> that I couldn't. I just couldn't listen to any dance music the next day. So yeah. I turned on like MTV, and that song. Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> Couldn't cut it as a poor man's deal. And it was like on repeat for some reason. Wow, it was and huge. I just heard that song oh. all day and I was like, yes. It's like sad hangover music. This is isn't the it? detoxification from rave music <laughs> that I need. So anytime I hear Nickelback now, I have a slight hangover. I'm like, right. Oh, man. Right. I get that with Radiohead creep. I get mm. a, I get an embarrassment hangover because I think of when I was a teenager and listening to that going like, this is 100% about me and whoever it is. <laughs> whoever it is I fancy right now or whatever. <laughs> I actually okay. really love the phrase you used there, like embarrassment hangover. Yeah, oh you know yeah, that? you get a little cr- like yeah. post cringe. Do you know what I mean? Like when yeah. you look at the fucking old footage of yourself, like performance stuff. Oh, like, I can't even look at last week's po- podcast. Yeah. Like I, I just because I cringe. I believe it or not, contrary to what people may think out there, whenever they see you on stage, I really fucking hate myself. Right? <laughs> like, and why else would we get into comedy other than an, than an overwhelming sense of self loathing? Mm, need for like <laughs> short term praise. Just everybody right now. has that. Yeah, I think so. I think do you yeah. that, and you hear your? Do you ever hear your voice back? And you go, 
you don't talk like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Working in radio give me like a wee personal nirvana, like away from that. <laughs> I still hate myself and I hate the way I sound, but like I had to listen to myself that much that you're used to. Oh, you get it because yeah, yeah. like. I used to do pre-recorded shows, so you used to have to go back and listen to the show start to finish. Yeah. And you're just sitting there for an hour going, oh, kill me, <laughs> kill me. Every time I say, um, or like, and I'm like, fuck you, Sean. It's extraordinarily <laughs> humbling, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I was doing voice notes with my cousin, and um, up until, by the way, do you oh, remember not thinking that, th- did you ever think that the word cousin was cousined? No, no, but no. you've said this before. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, I, remember I found out there was no D at the end. But um, I, I have a, a lot of dates I've had yeah. ended like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Um, uh, yeah, I was voice noting her and I realised that I kept saying, um, um, and then I pointed it out. Uh-huh. So I was like, um, why do I keep saying, um? And then I went, um, and then I started laughing at myself and the whole voice note was about just, one minute and 29 seconds of me laughing. You laugh at me said, um... You um, sort of short-circuit yourself a little, don't you? Yeah. I used to think comfortable, or comfortable oh, right? yeah. was comfortable. So I used to think it was spelled C-O-M-F, trouble. Comfortable. Right. Comfortable. Yeah, right. Comfortable. Well, that makes sense. It's like Wednesday, you know, every Wednesday. every week, uh, whenever I have to, if, whenever I have to write down Wednesday, as we all do. Wednesday. Every, every week, I always have to remind myself, it's Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. This is a word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or February. Yeah. Oh, yeah, February. yeah. February, yeah. Fe- yeah, that's some February. bullshit. February. Yeah. February. Yeah. What are we doing here with language, eh? We should have made, should have just kept a key of drawings. Do you kept want it nice and simple. to um, figure out a way to whitey yourself without smoking anyway? <laughs> <laughs> right Lie No but, uh, but do go on I want to know I'll... Lie in bed at night Right uh, Say It could be Just You know those moments Before you fall asleep Yeah right? Yeah Yes Oh And think of only Your name <laughs> Think of your name Repeatedly uh-huh. Right uh-huh. And I promise you You will get to the stage Where you start to think Like Shakespeare Like what is in a name Yeah <laughs> And I started to go My name Is Brona what the fuck kind of weird amalgamation of syllables is what Brona? And then I started thinking about how I looked and whether or not my name represented that and what people thought. And it just blew my mind. And I was like, I, I actually need yeah. to go look, yeah, look, Ugh, yeah. look. Like my cousin, I was going. I remember the name Denise. I was like Denise, Denise, Denise. Denise. Did you ever see that? <laughs> Denise the the Keynes Field, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a classic one, isn't it? That's, that's one I think I quote every week. Oh, what is it? A A Ron as well. It's like this like inner city teacher and he's like he's doing substituting in like a middle class school in America and like he hears all their just normal names, but he's so used to like like really trashy names that he mispronounces all of them. So it's like it's a guy called Aaron. He's like, So A A Ron, anyone here called A A Ron? And like the kid goes like, My name's Aaron and he's like, Don't you fucking mess with me <laughs> Like <laughs> like he loses his shit on them and all. It's really good. It's like, it's D-Nice here. D-Nice? D-Nice here? D-Nice? Jaquillin? 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 Do you know that's like our teacher coming into St. Dominic's? It used to be, it had to be the right type of Catholic to St. Dominic's. And the then right they type. started letting Protestants teach. And one of the best teachers I ever had, he was a Protestant. <laughs> and he was telling us, and he taught politics too. Talk mm. about like we're gonna really fucking change it up here. <laughs> and we're teaching and you politics. Lanes. <laughs> yeah. All quiet on the West Belfast um, front. But he was he came in and he said it was so daunting for him to read out the roll, the register. I because bet, the yeah. names the uh, first name on the register was like How would you read Aoife. Cather? Do you know what I mean? So he was do you know what he tried to do? He he said that he was so embarrassed because he was calling out the name Aoife, A O I F E, but he was going a whiff, a whiffy, a whiff. And the, he said the whole class was just sitting laughing oh, at him like they wouldn't need to help him out. You yeah. know, they were just like in stitches. No authority after that as well. Yeah, You're you fresh. have no authority to <laughs> Jackie <Yeah>. Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, in our family group chat, right? So it's only me, my mummy and my daddy that speak oh. good Irish. Oh, right. Oh, right. I thought you meant that speak. speak then, yeah, everyone's silent. And then all of Patrick's kids. Right. <laughs> like, so... Uh, see when it comes up to one of our birthdays, I've had some of our family members that have says, I wait until you write happy birthday and spell their name before I write <laughs> it. Oh, really? Because I'm not 100% sure of the spell. Yeah. That's a good idea. Too. That is actually That's a, good a good idea. idea. Like, see, even whenever I'm confident in certain things, in fact, um, 
with Irish, I still look it up because I'm like, if I spell this wrong, I'm gonna. Look oh like fuck! There's yeah. a there's a hierarchy among Irish speakers. Irish mm-hmm. speakers are the most elitist fucking cunts They're in the world. Thank right. you for saying it. And I, it comes from an oh, Irish God. speaker. Gale are, are next I've, level. I've never, I've never been like I don't speak that much Gaelic, but anytime I've spoken it in front of somebody else who speaks Gaelic, they do take great pleasure yeah. in correcting you. Yeah. Like they've been waiting all day One for that. One thing that I find turgid. is. Like turgid, I love oh, that. What's a good word for oh, that? It's, word. it's a disgusting word for a boner, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. Can you um, can you imagine? Tumescent. You know, if you're <laughs> like in the middle of a conversation in, in English, right? And someone stops you and goes, "Excuse me, no." Someone who you work with say, mm. and someone would stop you and go, "Excuse me, what, why are you saying that word?" Yeah. Measure, measure, measure. Right? Oh, really? And uh, yeah, and you have to put a bit of. On the M and measure, right? Uh. That's what happens in Irish, right? Yeah. And that happens in like normal conversation. In normal, oh. like and they're, they're like, that's the Ulster dialect, and they make you feel like a you muck savage. The Irish, yeah. yeah. Like, go, like, let me stop you for a second, and they'll fucking completely <gasps> correct you. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Give us the book. <laughs> no, I don't like it at all. And our ones in school, like I, I would love to learn. I want to speak it fluently, like I want to learn me my native tongue. Mm, mm. But like Curtis was going to an Irish, he said he was going to an Irish class, and I was like, "Don't you fucking!" <laughs> I mean, there's no way that a, a, an English first, man yeah. is learning my native language before I do, like fluently. <laughs> um, I was like, "We'll do it when we're older, and it's not just days anymore." No. But it's like whenever my Irish speaking friends were getting like tested mm. by down southers. They would say that there was a lot of contention there because, like, southern oh, people yeah. speak a Irish different really dialect, differently. Isn't there? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. they speak it like more florally as well. It's it, like more wordy and quite nice. And yeah. It depends. It's like depends where you depends are. Depends where you're from. Or is it at least four scholars. different types? It's a, it's a yeah. Really it's like it's like there's Ulster, Munster, Leinster, and, and, the, and the other one. And then, and then yeah. if you know, then you can get more local than that. The other wee regions and other wee guild taxis. Words that you've never heard before. Yeah. Now that like I didn't realize how bad it was when we um when we done Irish A level, we studied like Monster Irish, mm. you oh. know, and I thought Monster like, Munch. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed that would be the furthest away, and it was like a book from the nineteen twenties, and right. I was going right, it's not going to get harder than this. Yeah. And yeah. then I started, that was just saying in the cold. Yeah. And then I started working in Radio Falsehood, and there was people from just all around the country, and see when you're trying to compete with like you're translating. Like four different languages oh, at once. Oh. Nightmare in your head. It's like you know? being in the UN, just in yeah. radio. Oh, yeah, like, you get the wee headset. Do you want to hear you? what I have recommended to Sean that Radio Falchi uses as their um, as their jingle? And I do think that you should use this. And if you don't, why not? It has to be. No. <laughs> All we hear is. Radio Falcha. <laughs> Radio. Like anytime I hear Radio Falcha, I'm like, Radio Falcha. That's a great idea. Yeah. It's got it, the perfect rhythm. It does. I Is just, I haven't is? been able to get the word, <laughs> you. Yeah. I, I haven't been able to get the word messing down my head since you said it a minute ago, because I, we're talking, it's like a dis- another disgusting word for boner, right? Mm-hmm. Is that the, oh, I thought you were about to pull it out there of the. Yeah. You got to turn your word yeah. <laughs> It always makes it sound like it glows. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Because it sounds like fluorescent. You I know think true messing sounds like fluorescent. I think, you know. Chubescent <laughs> adolescent. Chub- <laughs> that sounds like a great band name, doesn't yeah. it? That does well? actually, that's, like the song. That's that, that's a band with like three bass players for some reason, isn't it? Yeah. Messing that Plucking lesson. away on their bases, yeah, <laughs> slapping the bass all day long. Now that we are, I have realised that we have been so loquacious um, that we haven't even introduced the word. The word of the week. Mm. The word of the week. And I have given you a hint in so that we have sentence. Been so loquacious. I, doesn't that mean like very confident and things like that? So like very out there, very like top hat ringmaster sort of shit? You're right in a sense. We're very out there, top hat ringmaster people tend to be very loquacious. Aye. We are extremely loquacious. It is someone who is very talkative. Right. Oh, oh yeah, I get you. Yeah, so yeah. we're extremely Honest. talkative. And it can be used. I've always been told that I'm a chatterbox and it's always been said negatively. But who, look who's laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, I'm in debt. <laughs> um, but, you know... Nobody in the be, crowd. It can be used. Like, for someone so loquacious, you're very lost for words. Uh-huh. Or... 
She's ex- an extremely loquacious young child, you know, but she should maybe need to listen a little bit more. Oh, you know? loquacious. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a bit of a chatterbox, I think, as well, isn't it? Isn't it like one of them things as well where they get really at you for it when yeah. you're young? And it's like, aye, but if you're like a shy child, they get at you for that too. Mm-hmm. It's like, what do you want them to do? Yeah. Do you want them to talk a bit? Just a little bit? Like, yes, yeah, please. Tell you to fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you, oh, I thought you meant get the kids to tell you to fuck up. Like, that's, <laughs> the, that's what I'm teaching my kids first is just like... Fuck up. Right, you know? now, first we say fuck. Do you know, <laughs> um, this is going to sound absolutely awful, but yes, one of my son's first phrases had fuck in it. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, and, okay, snobs out there can say what they want. I don't give a fuck. It was absolutely hilarious and adorable in equal measures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because Kids saying fuck it was, is hilarious. Um, fuck sake. <laughs> right? And what happened was, he, and he was so cute, and he, and he was just, fuck sake. But he would say it in sort of like an English accent. Uh, I see. Um, that's, that's a dead that's, giveaway. Yeah. 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 yeah fuck sake. <laughs> I don't know who did it. But he dropped once. I, I was uh, standing in the hall and he dropped his ice cream on the ground. Uh-huh. And he's only with Bobby and he just looked down and he went, oh, fuck sake. And I went, he's using it in context. This is fantastic. Well done. The boy's a genius. Yeah. Got to go far, you know. <laughs> there is a snobbery around words, and you know, even if you really are loquacious, it depends on what you're actually saying. Like, up mm. the moon of fucking by fucking pass, uh, yeah, isn't exactly that's same. another local character, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah, Jazzy Shanko. We were talking about her and the old KFC dildo thing before, weren't we? Last time, that's how long oh, ago yeah. it was. Posted a picture of a big KFC meal and a, and a couple dildos. That's right, that her boyfriend bought her a dildo. Oh, yeah, 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 aye, and she was very happy with herself. <laughs> licking, just, finger finger licking good. Finger <laughs> God, yeah. Imagine. Now I keep thinking about glow in the dark penises. Right. Well, now we're talking about dildos. Is there a term for about, that? Right? There's hmm. Is a there term. a term for a glow in the dark penis? Do you know what I don't? Fluorescent. Tumescent. <laughs> yeah. Tumescent. Fluorescent. I think, you know. Yeah. What is it? More like one of them. You can get condoms that are glow in the dark. Can't you can. You? Do you know? Imagine that. Just seeing a wee fucking mini lightsaber. <laughs> I heard this about <laughs> Charlie. Charlie Chaplin used to put a load of iodine on his penis because he was a germaphobe before he had to that? iodine. Which I can't remember. I think it's like an antiseptic or some sort. Yeah, yeah. I think makes you look brown. It's yeah. the stuff that put on you before that's cut into you in surgery. Right, yeah, that's what it is. Black yes. He was doing black dick. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> the smallest minstrel, minstrel show to be seen. That's a, that's a Revels show, isn't it? That's <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one of his one of his first wives said he, Charlie Chapman used to come charging at me with his little red sword. So maybe maybe I was going in the dark, is what I'm saying. Maybe it's it in was because it's a bit radioactive, isn't it? Iodine or no? It's you take it when you you, you take iodine you pills take and you're afraid it, of radiation or um, something. Exposed yeah. to radiation. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my so, god! Yeah, yeah. Walking in with your little Geiger counter like, <laughs> like, like, like Charlie oh. Chapman's in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> when he his gets little red sword. His little red sword. So he must have had a, a sharp dick. He must have. Very, <laughs> very sharp dick. Do you know what? There's not much There's not much that people can call your dick that isn't insulting. Do you know what I mean? Not, I don't mean like adjectives. I'm talking metaphors. Like yeah. she didn't say anything about size. No, well, she did say little. But she's, uh, but, yeah. but I feel like if someone calls your dick a sword, that's never flattering. You know, if someone calls your dick a... Sword? No, sword sounds pretty flattering. Do you think? Yes, yeah, sword. A sword is deadly. Maybe, a sword needs maybe, to be sheathed. <laughs> Sheath. I'm thinking sharp though. No one wants a sharp dick. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Maybe it depends on what kind of sword you're thinking. No, because like a, a, a scimitar well, that would be, or scimitar is that what you say? I don't know, but they're curved, aren't they? Never mind. That's a bit too. We're talking too. about Woo. an EP. Isn't that like the fencing sword? The, uh, uh, yeah, uh, rapier. 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 Well, that's why Patrick's called the dagger. The, yeah. Patty is a dagger. A dagger sounds quite deadly though, doesn't it? Does it does sound very deadly. <laughs> Small but deadly. Yeah. <laughs> Small but effective. Yeah. Yeah. Can you flick some of, uh, pain. <laughs> um, what was you if yours was a weapon? <laughs> Mine was a weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, gosh, I don't know. Well, what would uh, you prefer? Did you call it? Well, what would I prefer? To be <laughs> Isn't it weird that you always want it to be scary as well? Yeah. You know, I mean, like, I, 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 I you know, you wouldn't. I, I, I don't know. I've never been a, a woman, but I imagine you probably you wouldn't never want. Been with a woman? Never been a woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> I never, would this be a weird time to come out as a virgin? Wouldn't it? as well to be like, yeah. well, I've, I've never actually even met a woman. I have never <laughs> yes. from a convent. A folly, a folly object that isn't pointed. So yeah, like a ballard. 
Oh, well, Ballard's oh. a good one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But then I always think of like students putting them on top of bus shelters and putting them on top of Nelson's column. Or whatever. Well, mm. A column? No, there's one you want. No, you, you want some good architecture. Those you want are some all just fucking... phallic symbols, though. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, all yeah, that yeah. architecture is just look at my big dick. Right, yeah. Like, right, the they're... Lincoln Memorial is a big penis, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no, that the, hat the Washington well. Monument, you mean? Washington oh, yeah, yeah. The Washington Monument is very penis. That's, that's a big phallic. Right. Symbol. I love that you said good, Lincoln good. and I went, ah, the hat, though. Ah, that's just. Mm-hmm. I was like an Irish speaker there. Uh, Zim of the correction straight away. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to do this to you at least once during this podcast. Yeah. I'm going to stop you in your pronunciation of an English word. Say it back Ooh, to you, yeah, and yeah. let's see how creepy it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Do, do it now. Wait, well, I need to say some words. You're don't dressed do. for it as well. You've got the fucking gold fonias on. Oh, I have the wee golden fonias <laughs> in me ear. A fanya, you know the golden fanya that you wear whenever you're proficient in Irish. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. that's how I lead this. There's fucking ranks. There's, wait, there's, wait, there's, wait, yeah. You got the stripes and all your like. Yeah, yeah. You're, well, here there you are some ranks for, our, for Irish speakers. Aren't there some real ranks? Pay, like thirty quid to go and like speak Irish to someone for that for half an hour, so they can go yes. Yeah, you are, you are good at speaking. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's your wee ring. Silver fonya. <laughs> Made in so, China. Yeah, yeah, like your wee rang. Like. Now a silver fonya sounds like a name I would give my penis. It's, uh, it's, uh, silver fonya. <laughs> there's my silver fonya. Would you right like there. me to put my silver fonya on you? Because no, you know, that's it's like it's like humble. Because no one ever would believe you if you go, I've got a big dick. You go, I right. It's the people who are it's like, more onic. it's the it's the people who. Are, oh wait, is that? Uh, I thought you were talking about penises. There, we just said it's no, more onic. What's what's the uh, Opposite of phallic. Oh, fa- fa- oh yeah, onic makes it. Or yonic. Yonic, yonic. is Oh, yonic's the, the Indian one, isn't it? Uh, silver fun. Yeah, because there's a yoni. A yoni. We silver yoni. We yoni. I tried to buy the Kama <laughs> Sutra when I was a teenager because I was like, this will make me good at sex. I haven't, I haven't had sex yet. You but, tried to buy. Hold on a minute. Tried to buy Rick off Amazon. Is, you tried to buy the Kama Sutra. Yeah, yeah. Off Amazon. Yeah, As yeah. a teenager. Not just like a nuts magazine. No, well, I mean, I was on you nuts magazine so too. You are so middle class. I was. I think that I would like to be proficient in the sexual intercourse. <laughs> I'm going to go onto my dad's Amazon account. Who the fuck had one back whenever we were teenagers? It was my dad's Amazon, Amazon account. The sutra. I was. I know. I, Did yeah. Your daddy not go. It's all right, darling. You can ha- you can borrow me and your mums. <laughs> Some on, of the pages are stuck together, night. but you can jump through there. <laughs> text <laughs> me, Luke. But a package has just arrived from the courier. <laughs> the paper has the texture of a poppadom. There's the. <laughs> <laughs> God, like, yeah, all night long Luke, dreaming about unis. I'm putting your socks in the, uh, in the, uh, the washing um, machine the, this morning yeah. and I dropped one and it cracked. <laughs> <laughs> like it a good china plate. Yeah. <laughs> what is all this dust hanging around in the garage? It's dust doesn't sound like I've got dehydrated dick, yeah, doesn't it? I was, <laughs> it's thinking, like, I was thinking of little dust. It's like I orgasm and the dick goes. <laughs> 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 um, I know I bought it and I thought oh, this will make me good at sex when I finally have sex and then you have sex and you're like put your legs behind your head and they're like I don't know what that is do you know what I mean so like, basically what we're saying is I'm trying to teach ch- my children that if, they the watch, sutra, <laughs> that if, they, if they watch porn they won't be getting a fair representation of what normal sex is good show yet you were there with an ancient like text but that also still had you thinking that women were going to be fucking putting their legs behind their heads <laughs> <laughs> there's no getting it right just most fun. of it was just stories as well that was the thing because I it? well I, I I think there's different editions or something or I think maybe I might have got a book that was about the Kama Sutra rather than the actual because I was like you flip through do you know what I mean you flip through looking for some pictures first of all and there's, there's a couple but I'm like a lot of paragraphs here you know I'm yeah. not sure if I've not sure if I've got the uh, the time or the, the attention span <laughs> to read through this because I'm, I'm tumescent as a read it's yeah. you know uh, but I yeah no it didn't didn't do much for me now but you know uh, that's because I, I was a child essentially yeah. um, like a lot of people they get their first start by finding like a magazine in a hedge or whatever and I'm like get me what? get me this ancient that? text you, you were, like <laughs> Get me the scrolls. Like, yes. yeah. <laughs> Step Pajari, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah. for bus wankers. That's for kids who don't have parents to leave them to school so they 
go past hedges. I, on the other hand, have never been outside in the past seven years. Other people are other people are learning from Katie Price. I'm learning from Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Grey. Is that another one of your granny's family? <laughs> the Grey. Oh, that was more Gandalf the White, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you had that thousand yard stare there. In your oh, eyes. It, well, it's like as, as if I'd seen it. In his mind. <laughs> yeah. As if I'd seen it. No, I know. Um, I, I think, though, that's probably... I think it's probably a good thing to have some, you know, uh, curiosity beyond what's just shown to you when you're younger, you know, because as you say, mm-hmm. porn's un- un- well, unrepresented. What was shown to you? Well, that would have been like Nuts Magazine because we didn't have a huge mm-hmm. amount of like, well, we had the internet, but there's a lot of parental locks about the place. And um, and to be honest, I didn't really know what to look for, really. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, I think I knew that doing that, watching that stuff Big wouldn't make boobies. me... Yeah, because <laughs> you'd be doing that. Big but, booby sex stuff. But you would... <laughs> <laughs> women who are naked. Uh, <laughs> naked. No, look. What? Naked. <laughs> <laughs> say it with me, I'm, Luke. I'm no longer too messy. Say it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, say it with me. I'm getting... Say naked. I'm getting onic. I'm getting sapphic. Uh, naked. 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 Good. That's good. Now, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. The moment's gone. <laughs> it's an inverted boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got like, a Renault. The wrong way, I've right? A, I like I'm it. Fucking myself. <laughs> that was fucking clever. I like, you have read Booker too, I believe. Backward. Backward. It, well, it that's one of the positions. Ca- that it? was one of those Islamic karmas. <laughs> I, um, I saw a sketch the other day and um, it was someone, no, like, he does these all the time. You know, it's like he's meeting with the guy who, like, makes up words. Oh, I love these. You know, oh, um, yeah, yeah. and he's like, you know, you're Inception. an evil bastard. Yeah, you know, he's like, like a, a, a um, word for people who cannot pronounce the rest is, and he goes, lisp. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah. want them to say it and, when um, they say the word? It was like, <laughs> what? Uh, what's the word for a word that reads the same backwards and forwards, oh, right? And he, he said it, and he's like, Pound right, good, I like that one. And he's like, what about a word for people who fear words? That can be read backwards and forward, really and scary. that word can be read backwards oh. and forward. Oh. I think so. The thing they fear the most <laughs> is, is the word. Is, is to the word. Yeah, they're like, I'm a, uh, I'm a. You, you know what? You don't need to know. Yes. Yeah, but like, isn't that the same as well? There's like the fear of long words is also an incredibly long word, which is like, oh, really? there's a real evil sense of irony. You just say fuck it and make up your own. When you, you'd call the dictionary. We need to actually Google that. I, that yeah. That's a very word up thing. Yeah. 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 Stick that on the, the podcast. The fear of long words. Can I give a wee shout out to some? We were talking about this before. Under some, away? I bumped into some people who listened to you, oh. and uh, and and they said they really like you. So. Uh, Paul Lochran and Emma McDonald of, yeah. of the Pole Glass Emma, McDonald's. We love the Pole Glass McDonald's. The Pole Gladesh. The Pole Absolutely. Pole Gladesh. That's class. Oh my God. So the fear. The fear of long of word. Of a long word. And what's the fear of palindromes afterwards? Is I want to. I want to. Do you stick want to know me? what this yeah. word is? This is fucking ridiculous. This is absolute. By the way, sorry. Yes, thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> I really do appreciate That's it. Awesome. Our, oh, our yeah, two. yeah. It's go. But when a word is, is read the same way forwards and backwards, palindrome. Palindrome. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, and, and what should we call it when someone has an irrational fear of, of these palindromes? Ibophobia. All right, how do I spell that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I actually particularly enjoyed that one where he was talking about because I used to say that like I used to, whenever he did that I was like hey I've done that bit you know about mm. the lisp I was like yeah, getting yeah, yeah. somebody and like um but at the end of it he goes you're like one of those people who really just enjoys other people's sadness and instantly he's like Schadenfreude. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I did. And yeah, my yeah. very first attempt at a podcast was done during lockdown and it was just all audio. Oh, serious? And oh, I, yeah, that was the stories one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah and yeah, I did yeah. an episode about Schadenfreude. Oh, serious? Because, yeah, do you, I love, you a ever, bit of, love a bit of Schadenfreude. See, while we're on the subject of, like, yeah, yeah. being too, too messy <laughs> and all of this, was yeah. to do the dirty word. 
because hey, how do we you were talking about I'll give you anaclitism. Anaclitism. Um, oh, anaclitism. Sorry, I went no, straight straight for the clip. That's you the big like mistake the people make. No, that's the, you don't go straight to it. That's the thing. You straight know, the that's, what I, that's what I learned in the book. You know, you know, you gotta you gotta <laughs> <laughs> you gotta circle the boat. You don't yeah. just fucking you don't go jaws. You, you only entertain the boat. Do you, <laughs> what you the Titanic put them on a cruise for. Just, a <laughs> put them on a cruise. Before yeah, you sink that couple shit. days in the sun. You know, <laughs> all day rightly. Like, the iceberg. <laughs> Sorry, the I've iceberg vibrator at this point. Iceberg is about because that's just demolished. Is it? Yes. Uh, there's a, <laughs> um, anaclitism. Well, that sounds like anachronism, which I can't remember what that is either. But um, I, I think. Well, I'm assuming with, and since it's dirty and it's got the word "quit" in it, it's got something to do with arousal. And since it's an ism, it means that's like a word that maybe makes somebody aroused. Yes. So that's an anachronism. Well, no. Ah, I'll tell you. Bollocks. I'm joking. No, it was a good, <laughs> you had a good go at it. Um, anachronism. That's what people say when I'm near the clit as well. They're like, yeah. you had a good go at you it. had a good go at no, it. But <laughs> it's time to let the iceberg in. You said, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, man, I said, well, man, I said. Um, anachronism. Is the act of achieving adult sexual arousal. <laughs> adult, well, okay. good. As is, is tends the key to be the norm. Here. Tends to be the norm. Adults by activities or objects that one was exposed to as an infant. Oh shit! Okay, so that's oh. like people who were dead and uh, like Breast sucking. Uh, oh right, I was I just going to say Power Rangers. I was going to say Winnie the Pooh. That's the first <laughs> thing that came into my head because I was thinking of childhood went teddy bears. Dark right away there. <laughs> <laughs> Think about Winnie the Pooh though. No trousers. He's got easy access. You so know. Maybe expose like, something it, there, maybe. There's yeah, Power Rangers as well. That's that's an orgy waiting to happen because that's like seven people, isn't it? Yeah. That's, there's. Of, but of varying colours He's not a racist He's not yeah, a racist he was, a very, uh, It's a full rainbow of people They're quite phallic too So They are better aren't they useful, yeah. And then there's the whole And then they all get big at the end They all oh, turn yeah. into big oiled robots Yeah well there you go <laughs> so, the, well, yeah. so basically You know those Like there's men Who pay like a thousand pound an hour To be like put in nappies and Oh yeah 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 right. Pampered and Aye. How far do they go with that as well ditties. Like I, do they actually shit themselves Or do they say yeah, they shit some themselves of them do. Fair play then. Some of them do. You know, it's a level of commitment that that yeah, I wouldn't have. I think method you know acting I mean? there yeah. all the way. I watched an episode Daniel of <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Day. He stays as a baby for like six years. <laughs> yeah. He's getting it fully Sucking into the role. He's stick. having birthdays. He's having baby showers. Fully grown man with a beard. <laughs> I remember watching the first time I ever heard of this um, fetishism was watching an episode of I think it was CSI many a year ago. And I actually have learned in later years that CSI is actually based off a l the majority of the stories that are told in the first CSI Las Vegas are real cases. Okay. But um, the guy who was producing it actually said, believe it or not, they had to change a lot of the cases because the real life cases, people would think they were... Right. They were too hard to believe. Yeah. It was too hard to believe. That's wild. But one of them was um, like this girl who was like in prostitution and she was like servicing all these like really rich guys and she wound up dead and they were like why is this woman lactating Ooh. and it turned out that like Pregnant. she had had a baby and like she was still lactating like five years later because wow. um the men loved it uh -huh. they loved the boobies you know and being, right. being fed so she was getting top dollar right god yeah yeah and, like you know breastfeeding like, yeah. the mare of being tapped oh. like a cask, yeah. just emptying yourself. Just God, I mean, I just feel bad because it's like, sure, giving yourself to giving yourself to people in prostitution takes enough out of you, and then now they're literally <laughs> they're looking for they're they're looking, <laughs> they're looking in a show. <laughs> 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 what? It's fucking. Hard. I mean, I hope she was getting paid. Well, she does get killed, and she so it doesn't really matter. Well, she was getting yeah. Paid. It turned I, out that uh, one of them was like holding her baby against <sighs> her, like she wanted her baby back, and she was only like entertaining this guy so that like she could get him. I don't know. This is. Gonna be the clip, is it? That's not gonna be the clip. Just you know, see if my mind could actually focus on remembering useful things instead of this kind of shit from like watching an episode <laughs> twenty years ago. Where could I be? I think today? you're preparing to do a murder if you're remembering stuff from CSI, yeah. isn't it? That's the yeah, big yeah. show to watch. I'm sorry, but like, see, I'm still stuck on the fact that they said that all oh, these stories were too mad. Mm -hmm. Like, so we actually had to, you know. Pull it back a wee bit. That's class A bullshitter speak as well, mm, though. It, it is, sounds like it? somebody from your school, though, who's like, ah, oh, my dad's fucking In Michael the Jackson. Yeah, yeah, she's Michael Jackson. Yeah, and, and then he's like, ah, see, actually, this stuff that really does happen in my life. It's actually madder than I'm, but I like 
bring it back. Just but bring so, it back. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, cause you wouldn't even believe. Yeah. yeah. So, you're like, I yeah. It's not, not Michael Jackson. Lee, I would Bush. like to take this opportunity to say that a lot of the stuff that I say does sound like lies because mm. I just ha- like, like your Patty would get called out whenever yeah. he's talking, but Constant. people don't understand that we do literally live in a place where there are a lot, we are mad people in general. Like, but even just, I was telling a, sh- a story there on she and Todd's podcast about like singing the Jerry Adams drunk one night. <laughs> and I know that whenever- What did you sing? I sang the Jerry Adams song to him. This so, is a Jerry Adams song? Yeah. Like he, he was in a car. thought you were going to go Bruno Mars. I'll tell the story here. It's a true story. <laughs> Honest to God, true story. But I know people will probably go, that's bullshit. Mm. But like, I still remember it and he's still afraid of me. So it definitely happened. Um, he was in his car. He was being driven by a driver. And it, we had just gotten our degree results. And the car pulled up and he was like, come gorgeous girls. You know, West Belfast is proud of you. Is getting your degrees. And I'll be like, ah, yeah. degrees, Jerry. <laughs> And I was really drunk and I just remember going, this is a great opportunity to sing this song to him. And I went, Jerry, there's a song about you. I'm going to sing it to you. You just sit there. And he was like, oh, oh, right, okay. And I was like, I met him down a bar in the lower falls. He had a big grey beard and he looked just like Jerry Adams. And I was trying to sit on his knee and all. <laughs> you know, while he was in, he was like, right, okay, you why, cheerio, and all, like, trying to get away. And I woke up the next day in the fucking horrors going, did that really happen last night? <laughs> did I really sit on his knee? Was I really singing to him? And he was like, yeah, you did. He's, that's probably made him more uncomfortable than being in an interrogation room. Yeah. Like, in an interrogation room, he's probably like, ah, sure. He's sure, like, no, what's going to happen? Say nothing. <laughs> yeah. Take me back to Castle Ray. Just don't fucking sit in my name and sing to me. <laughs> Listen, Bless him. ask me anything you want about where they are. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything, but don't fucking say. <laughs> Please just get these girls away from me. I'm sorry. Just take me now. <laughs> there is bad stories, but fucking our Patrick does have a wee touch of the fibs about him too. Are we, is it... Um, what do they call it? Walter Middies? The Walter Middies. I think I think as well, gifted storytellers can, uh, you know, uh, add to a story, like, never embellish let, it without Never let the truth noticing. get in the way of a good story. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it used to get absolutely. me in a lot of trouble when I was in school. No, because, like, you used to, like, obviously your big brother, you believe anything comes out of his mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, he used to say to me, here, did you hear? And I'm like, what? I was like, I was talking to, um, I was talking to Gordon Strack the other day. Fucking Is this Celtic. a player for Celtic? Yeah. Celtic are saying in Ronaldinho. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. But oh, I, I did used it. to go did it as well. Serious. And I and and I used to go in the school and go here. But here Celtic are gonna be good this year because they're saying in Ronaldinho. Who said that? My brother said it. Like, mm. but he knows Gordon Strack. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and they're like, I right and I used to go, money see and money see. Yeah, it didn't happen. I used to th- I Patrick think my brother invented sent you into school to yeah. the- <laughs> But he does that on purpose. He, does, he knows it like even too long. You're a horrible it's person. Kids as well. <laughs> I used to think my brother invented the word bollocks. I used to think that yeah that he was the originator because I first heard it from him. And then I saw I started seeing it like on TV or people saying it and I was like, fuck, that's going around pretty fast there here. <laughs> Fair play to yeah, Adam Transetter, you know, yeah. Transetter and all. The bollock, he just, yeah, the origin of a word. That's the inventor my granda would do that. My granda was a steeler actor and he like made buildings and shit, you know, mm. like the, the bones. I used to think, by the way, that a steeler actor as a kid was somebody who who worked in the profession of acting, pretending to steal things. Right, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I went somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, I went there. I was going straight uh, for your message. I was trying to think of the other oh, word. That we I was had. thinking of somebody ready. just works on a building site no. constantly <laughs> erect. <laughs> <laughs> no, stealer. I think I used to say, "You're we, st- you're stealing that, there, stealer." And uh, mm. and then I thought it meant that you were acting, pretending to steal things. But <laughs> he told us that he built Steel. everything. Like as far as I'm concerned, my granda built the twin towers. <laughs> well, fourth, that wasn't a good job in the, the end, was it? You know? <laughs> well, it didn't do well. Should, but I mean, should have worked harder there, Mister Diamond. Should have worked harder. Engine fuel can't melt. Engine fuel can't melt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Things in Shaftesbury Square, the two big men that are on the wall, they're yeah, yeah, the, the parallel dudes, they're doing like a my granda put them up, did he know? And I actually thought for ages that he didn't because then I got to that stage where I was like, no, he just you lied to me. I about you don't everything. believe anything anymore, I, so I then saw. I didn't, but apparently he did. But oh. now I'm doubting myself. I saw a photo, he told of, us he made them, but, uh, but now like literally just the other day, of I, I love no like old photos of Belfast, 
It's mm, one of my yeah. sad wee granny things. Yeah. Uh, where I love like wee groups of like where people post in old photos of Belfast. And people used and, to get photographs on the street and all. Like they used yes. to get the whole street in for photos. And oh. uh, uh, there's one of Shaftesbury Square in the 60s. And it shows you that building with the uh, with the two men on it. and But it has a different Lads. facade. My grandma might not put them up. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to find out. Um, uh, so there's me finally not doubting him. Going, he, he might not have made them, but he's put them up. I said to my <laughs> man, she was like, I think he might have put them up, but he didn't make but, them. Um, what year was the picture? It was like, it must have been late 60s because it looked like it wasn't like we beat Lee cars. He made have put them up. Could, yeah. could well, yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I was so surprised. I, I assumed that building was no like a later thing, like... 80s or 90s sort of thing yeah um because it looked relatively modern yeah but i love uh, the way you just debunked my whole story yeah, i was like straight you might up. not have picked them up i'm gonna ask this but, right but go so you thought but it yeah was. but i actually found it interesting that they were still up there because it's like well that's like a real like modern looking design feature yeah for Belfast. timeless absolutely yeah. timeless but it used to have a completely different facade it used to be like a big white facade around the building that's like stone which oh, makes it look yeah. fucking older right yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I heard that the like reason it? the Belfast Queens was it you that told me this sounds like something I'd say was it, right. it was me that told, told me this? us about uh, it and Galway getting the we were the supposed to supplies. have different stones no way Belfast brick ah yeah yeah I learned that this is called Belfast brick grey, uh -huh. this particular kind uh -huh. of brick. Uh -huh. And Sean enlightened me with this tidbit. Yeah, so um, with Twin Cities, like in colonial sort of places, uh -huh. so Ireland, uh, typically British colonial places, <laughs> so <laughs> Ireland, <laughs> India, South Africa, like 13 colonies in America, all out there, right? Um, to save on uh, architectural like costs, they would power up cities when they were developing new cities and like trying to expand on trading ports and stuff hmm. so that they would get an architect and pay them to make a whole load of plans and blueprints for like city halls, public libraries, universities, um, banks, stuff like that. And just copy and, and paste it. And everywhere. they would just copy and paste it and oh. send the plans to different places. But what they would do is they'd had to match the urban design of like the traditional like way the buildings looked in that city. Mm -hmm. So it would just be... That same design, but with different coloured bricks or different coloured roofs, or mm. just to match in the surrounding area. So at the time, if you look at Belfast City Centre, it's this coloured brick mm -hmm. in most of the old traditional right, okay. buildings that mm -hmm. weren't wrecked by the Blitz. Aye. You know, the likes of whites and stuff like that. Aye, right enough, yeah. yeah. How do you brighten up Belfast? Painted grey. <laughs> <laughs> so they were, like, they were like, right, we're building a... Charles Lanyon designed this... Uh, Design for a, a university building, and they were putting it up in the university area, which was under the vault. There was very little, you know, urbanization around mm -hmm. South Belfast. Readers, mm. and um, <laughs> so they were putting that building up there first. There wasn't very many, it was just all cottages around there at the time. And when I went to build Split it, the brick, Sean. <laughs> sorry, this is really long, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying it too. I'm I just wanted to say that. Uh, so they got the blueprint, and it was meant to be. The way the building looks now in Queens, but with this, this Belfast grey brick. Brick. Mm. Um, but uh, Belfast and Galway were twinned as cities, and the shipping orders for building materials was mixed, mixed up. Mixed up. So the red bricks got sent to Belfast, and the grey bricks got sent to Galway. Ah. Didn't but, even manage to get that right. Yeah, so yeah. We, <laughs> then this big fucking statement piece of a building was made. In South Belfast, and they're oh. like, "Ah, oh, fuck, he's used the wrong bricks." Mm -hmm. So when they, like they they built the whole building, I the way it was built. Well, the, that's really right, different that's from all the Probably the realized when the bricks here. came and they went, "Ah, oh, fuck, there's no <laughs> point trying to ship this back in the ball." <laughs> Listen, I just want to make a pre mark, all right? Let me just make this pre mark. Yeah. So then after that, they had to copy whatever this statement building looked like. So they had to just fucking tear up their plans of making it all grey, and then. Every other building around South Belfast was then made red. Yeah, that's kind of so nice. Though, it's a, a better color scheme. Took something ultimately. perfect. And I, 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 I love them. Galway's all gray. <laughs> Galway is fuck gray. Em, fuck them, as you said. And Galway's quite 
cute. Yeah, Galway is very pretty, brick. actually. You know, yeah, I think it all worked out. Galway I, loves itself. I love them wee groups, the wee Facebook groups where they put up all the old photos as well, and people start saying weird shit like, "Oh, this is back in the day before woke ruined everything," and it's like it's a picture of a car. Like, what was <laughs> what's not woke about the good this old, old days? This old banger. Used to get a lot Look at that of. child with scurvy. Yeah, great, great times. <laughs> where everyone started eating these woke limes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alpha Romeo, I've done the job. You only had to stop and fix it every five minutes. <laughs> my granddad drove a panda, and it didn't even have the bottom in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know that my dad? Well, miss, I often say this, and it gets confused. My my stepdad, my pops, was telling me that um, they stopped his friend before you know, like one of the road blocky blocks, aye, and aye. they were like saying, "What's in the boot?" And he went, "Nothing." Hmm. And he was going, "What's in the fucking boot?" That this is the soldier to him. And he went, nothing. I swear to God, there's you don't want to look in there. There's literally nothing in there. Mm. And he went, open the fucking boot. And he opened the boot and there was no bottom in the boot. You could see see the road. <laughs> you could see the road. And he was like, there's nothing in there. You know, and like he was saying that you used to be driving along, like there'd be a hole in the bottom of the, the floor of the car where you could just see the road that's, underneath your feet. Oh, that's wow. a Marx Brothers sketch. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's more like a Wright Brothers car. It's <laughs> Flintstones. It? There's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, properly jogging underneath. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> just to keep it going. <laughs> that's a gag though. I love that he was, I love that he was doing puns as well at gunpoint as well he's like there's <laughs> yeah. nothing in there yeah. obviously you know my favourite favourite joke of all time is and this is well for today I'll, I'll actually tell you it um, my dad told me it and it was about there's a fella and he's pulled over and the policeman says to him stand over there I'm going to search your car mm. And the man goes, all right. And he says, listen to me. I'm going to draw a fucking circle here. A chalk circle. And see if you step outside it. I'm going to bust your face. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the wee man goes, right, okay. So police officer draws a chalk circle and makes him stand on it. And he's looking at him. Police officer walks over to the car and he goes, there's nothing in the car. And he goes, I'm looking in the fucking car. And he goes, right, okay. So the police officer walks over. And opens up the boot and there's nothing in it. And okay. he looks around at your man and your man's killing himself laughing, like really laughing hard. And he goes, oh, is that right? So he searches the whole car and he doesn't find anything. And he turns around and your man's still laughing. And he, So he goes, I see what you're laughing at. So he breaks the wing mirror off his car and he turns around to the guy. And the guy's still laughing his head off. Aye. And he gets a knife out and he sticks it in his car. And he turns around and your man's still laughing his head off and he goes, I'm only after breaking your fucking wing mirror and putting your tire down and you're laughing. What have you got to laugh about? And he goes, <laughs> Officer, see, every time you turned your back to me, I was stepping in and out of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> that's now, I, I know that that is insane, but that's the, uh, see if you want to summarize my family and the shit yeah. that we laugh at. <laughs> We definitely are ODD, like <laughs> oppositional defiant disorder. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. I love that shit, though. See, I love every that. time you turned around, I was stepping in there a circle. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I have one of these wee buttons here? Because they've been eyeing me up the entire... Yes, try I, one. I will, no, I will. Tell me what you think about the Euro bubbles. Okay, instantly. It's like Carmack, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was more like Milky Bar, you know? Oh, you're disappointed. No, I'm actually I'm very pleased, but... My tongue wasn't ready, do you know what I mean? Your tongue wasn't ready. Can I just say, um, I want to encourage more people, if you're watching now, um, <laughs> to please come over. consider subscribing to our Patreon. Mm. If you don't know how to do it, I'm going to put a wee link in to actually help you out. And I probably should share the Patreon link because I haven't done that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you want to hear more about Sean's new list and also about... New list? Um, yeah, Sean has a new list on his phone, and I was killing myself laughing at him earlier on because a list of like, well, like he's trying enemies. to come up with a new catchphrase. <laughs> he has a list on his phone of catchphrases, possible catchphrases for Sean in twenty twenty four. What's the old? What's the old catchphrase? No, you have to come over to the Patreon. Oh yeah, fuck I, yeah, 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 yeah. And also say nothing. Yeah, say nothing. But Make thank like you Jerry. so much for watching this. We can tell your wee granny was asking better. Thank you. Thank you.